Okay, today we're looking at Donald Duck, Maharaja Donald by Karl Barks. Uh, it's the traditional Walt Disney's Donald Duck, Maharaja Donald. The Fantagraphics um, logo here, as opposed to the, the FD Fantagraphics books on a lot of the other ones in this series. And uh, it's a nice, beautiful uh, sewn binding. It's not glued and just a really well produced book that Fantagraphics has been doing on these these Karl Barth stories. We got the table of contents and then we start off here. This uh, first story that Maharaja Donald, it's kind of the more epic uh, adventure stories and I find that uh, at least in this story Karl Barth hasn't found his footing. He's really much better uh, with, the, with the shorter gag stories. They do a lot of uh, 10 page humor stories and here uh, it's just not that interesting or that that epic I mean if you want a good duck adventure story uh, I really think Don Rose is the, the guy to go with uh, here uh, he just Carl Barks is just is a little too outlandish little too silly and, and just not that interesting and, and doesn't get the humor quite right compared to when he's doing uh, these shorter stories. So here is a 10-page uh, humor one. It's just so much better, you know, where, where Donald thinks, hey, he's going to train this, this seal and, and get really famous. And then uh, his nephews talk to a zookeeper, and it's, it's already a, a trained seal. And he thinks he trained it uh, and he's going to get rich. So that's a funny story. Here uh, we've got another longer story, Terror of the River. And again, it's just, it's not a good adventure story. Uh, I think Barks ends up doing them quite well, but uh, in his earlier stories, he just does not get the adventure uh, correctly. Because here it's this monster here on the river, and uh, it turns out it's it's by a guy who just wants to scare everybody and, and be well-known and famous, and it's just, there's not much of a point. Uh, there's not much of a really interesting, uh, you know, how it comes about. And uh, I don't know. It's the long epic adventure stories Carl Barks is not ready with. But th these humor ones, they're, they're fantastic. So here uh, we're back to the rest of the book are these really well done humor stories. So Daisy and Donald. And she wants them to be all fit. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't want to put in the work for it, so he gets the idea of uh, just using fake dumbbells to try and try and convince her. Uh, so it's just it's it's pretty funny uh, how that story turns out. Here we've got uh, Donald not wanting the the nephews to get a kind of a mutt of a dog, he has to get a, a high bred dog, and hilarity ensues because he doesn't want to do anything. And this is where just Carl Barks is really shining. He just has these wonderful, shorter, 10-page uh, stories. And, and the humor is just right. The pacing's just right. And, and everything is, is, is it's a laugh. Each, each story, just well, well done. And he can do these 10 pages and just put them out here that Huey, Dewey, and Louie are, are playing hooky. Uh, from school, Donald's uh, plan to punish them. It's just, they're fantastic. It, and it's too bad there's those two longer kind of attempts at epic adventure because he, he can't do it right. He just hasn't figured it out yet. If you want the epic adventure, go with Don Rosa. But here, uh, you know, th Thanksgiving's coming up. They want a turkey dinner. And there are different plans to, to try and get a turkey dinner. He's going to win it in a turkey shoot. And it's just fantastic. You know, Donald Duck and his nephews. Uh, just really, really well done. And, and the rest of the book here is just wonderful 10-page uh, stories after 10-page stories. Um, art, Art's, you know, uh, classic Karl Barks. Uh, so it's really well done. And I really uh, highly recommend it. Like I said, there's the two weaker stories, but the rest is just 
wonderful t- ten page uh, stories where he's got the pacing perfect, uh, the comedy and humor is just perfect. Uh, you know, the nephews here just spoiling Daisy and Donald's picnic. And again, I, I don't really want to give away each story, but it's just it's just fantastic for for the rest of the book. And then there's some some essays on on the various stories after. Uh, which, you know, they're hit and miss. Some of them are well-written, some of them not. Um, and uh, it's just a nice little touch, little short bio on Karl Barks, if you're not that familiar. And then uh, the list of, of the various volumes here. So, I mean, there's quite a lot of Karl Barks material out there, and I'm really glad Fanagraphics is, is putting that out. Here, again, this is a really kind of a early entry into the series and uh while Karl Barks is just the master of, the, of that 10 page story uh his epic adventures uh, don't quite hit the mark so it really is what are you looking for in a in a duck book if you're looking for the humor uh the fast quick paced stories this is fantastic uh, but if you're looking for a really interesting you know epic uh adventures you know, where the Donald or Uncle Scrooge or the kids just go on a really nice epic adventure. The man to go with that is is Don Rosa, not Karl Barks, at least not this iteration of Karl Barks. But uh, I highly rec- recommend it because it's, it's a well-made, well-produced, and uh, the comedy and humor is just, it's fantastic. 